Good morning. Good morning. Yes, and remember, uh, I think in two weeks' time we are going to, we, before the exams, we are going for work based experience. Uh, maybe most of you have forgotten, but we are still organizing the lady who deals with work based experience, uh, who is going to give you forms to sign. And then, uh, you know, during work based experience, they will give you what we call a, st a stipend of 500 rand so that you can be able to travel to the ECT center. Uh, yesterday, um, I spoke to your, uh, to your group leader, the, um, is it um, GIFT? Yeah, I think, yes, GIFT is the one who is, um, who is negotiating with the senior lecturer for that to happen. So what normally happens is that um, the lady, uh, the work-based uh, experienced lady will come here and talk to you. Then uh, you will take your bank details. So as for now, what you need to be organizing are your certified copies of IDs and I think you need a, 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 a bank, yeah. Yes, a bank account. You need to have a bank account if you don't have. Yeah, so that because they, they won't give you cash, they will transfer that 500 rand into your account. So basically, um, you also need, uh, when you are in class, you need to sign the register. You need to pass, sign near your name. And, you, and what we are going to do, uh, we are going to remind, I'm going to, we are going to remind each other about the activities that we are going to do there when we are in, in those crashes. Whatever center you choose, I'm going to use a case study here, and then we try and apply, uh, you know, you try and apply it to your own ECT center. Remember, we said uh, we are not fussy. It's either you, you can go to Great R or you can go to we, whatever age group uh, which you will uh, like to work with, even babies, if you want. Right, there is my case study. Uh, it says here, um, we will uh, work from this case study about uh, a, a, an ECT center. This one is, normal, is strictly for three to six year olds. But I said, if you can, if you find at the center that they allow you to work with babies, you can work with babies, you can work with uh, great R, you can work with three to six year olds. And they are saying, yeah, this is Lesedi uh, ECT center. It has three to six year old uh, age group. The center opens at 7.30 in the mornings and closes at at five, uh, they are saying uh, we should uh, now describe the activities that we are going to do from seven to five with, the, with these children, whether they are three-year-olds or they are great aras or babies. Maybe let's use three, two, because most of you I know they, li they, they love three, two, six-year-olds. Uh, they don't normally go to babies. So uh, we are going to divide our activities into three. Firstly, we will have what we call the routine activities, the routines. And then we will have what we call structured activities. And then we have play. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that? Yes. yes. Yeah. So le le let's start now with the, uh, uh, with the routines. I will say um, three to six, because we, we, that's the age group which we are going to use. Three to six year olds. And then what we are going to look at are the activities. The activities that we will be doing with the three to six year olds. Let me wait for them. Right, uh, those who are coming, we were talking about work-based experience that next week 
I don't know, maybe not next week, that other week, because the lady needs to first come and address you. We will be going for work-based experience for uh, one week. And uh, you choose your own uh, ECT center and you choose your own age group. If you want to work with uh, babies, three to six year olds, or great uh, 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 children. Uh, what is happening in work-based experience, they will, uh, the lady will come here, give you a, sti a stipend of 500 rand uh, to use whilst you are traveling there. What you need to prepare is your bank account um, and your, your ID copy certified one. So what we are doing now in class, we are talking about the activities that you will, go, you, you, you will do whilst you are there uh, during work-based experience. But we once spoke about it, you remember? Yes. yes. And now I'm saying that we used a case study there, a Lesetti Center, which opens uh, from 7 to 5. And we are saying, what are the activities that you will be doing with these, uh, with these children during that time? Between 7 and what? And 5. And we said uh, the best thing for us to do is to divide when you are there, Obviously, you will, need, you will have what we call a lesson plan. Um, something which looks like this. Um, you know a lesson plan, I will show it to you with times and activities. Yes, you will have a lesson plan with times and, and activities. And then you have to divide those activities. Remember our lesson plan times, and then here is activity. In our case study, we are saying, we say that Lesedi uh, uh, ECT center starts from uh, what time? Seven. Seven to what? To five. Right. So between, uh, what will you do between seven to five? But mostly the children, maybe let's start with, we will start with this time, zero seven thirty. Because normally, yes, that will be arrival time. Right, from 7.30 to 8, that will be arrival time. 7 o'clock, normally it's the teachers who come, they will be preparing for the children. And then we start from uh, 7.30 to 8, that is arrival. Arrival is under what? Yes, remember uh, in, uh, in our question we have what we call routines. And then we have what we call structured activities. structured activities because it's an ECT center of course there will be what we call play huh? yes and our play we divide it into two we have outside play and and inside play so now let's start here with that is under routines now yes it's arrival 7:30 activity we can say arrival Yes, under routine, but because of my board. Uh, yes, under, uh, under routine, sorry, yes. Activity, yeah, we can say um, arrival, yes, I'm correct. We can say arrival. And then we can describe now here what we will be doing. Uh, yeah, what will happen? Yes, children will, uh, will unpack their bags when they arrive. What else will they do? Yes. Huh? Yes, they greet each other. What else do children do? Music. About what? Morning. Oh yes, they, that's the morning ring arrival, and then morning what? Morning ring. Yes, in the morning ring, let's start about the children. What they will do? We said they will, children will arrive. They will unpack their what? Their bags and. Um, and then they will settle it down, huh? Yes. Right. Uh, whilst maybe the teacher is preparing, they can do what we call a, a, a play, indoor play, yeah? Yes. And then the teacher now will do, that is you now, you will do with them what we call a morning ring. Yes, which is, a, a, that, that's an activity, so routine, uh, maybe routine we were supposed to say arrival. 
yeah. Here we are suppo supposed to say arrival, and then activity. Now we say morning what? Morning. Yes, that's a morning ring. Right. Now let's briefly um, um, say what we will do during that morning ring. Remember our time is 7.30 to 8 as well. Yes, morning ring. What can you do during the morning ring? Now that's your activity. The activities now that you will do under that morning ring. Oh, play, maybe I should put it here. One, um, yes, yes, very good. Now she's talking about the theme. Yes, she's saying they might sing a song about the theme of the day. What themes can they have? One, my body. Huh? Weather. Sorry? Let's have one person talking, yes? Oh, sorry, different seasons or the weather. Yes. And maybe let's say summer or talk about winter. That could be the theme. Yes. R right. Let's start. Uh, when they arrive now in the morning ring, they are greeting. They, they, there is what we call greetings. Mm -hmm. Yes. They can sing a song whilst they are greeting. Good morning, good morning. How do you do? Good morning, good morning, how do you do? You still remember those songs? Yes. yes. Or they uh, can sing a song, uh, who has come to school today? Amahle, Amahle, who has come to school today? Amahle has. And um, during that time as well, you know, those songs should be about uh, greeting them. Yeah. Yeah. Even good morning, good morning, how do you do? You still remember that one? Yes. Good morning, good morning, how do you do? All those songs, they are under the what? The arrival and greeting each other. They, because we say they need some activity, they need to, you know, uh, uh, to be involved whilst they are doing that. And then after uh, uh, the, uh, the greetings, maybe the, now you, the, uh, the, the teacher, Yes, you have to introduce the what? The theme, yes, of the day. Uh, what you are going to be doing. Or before introducing the theme, there is something that we are forgetting. Remember, we spoke about the weather chart. Yes. yes. They need to record in the weather, what? In the weather chart. And when you go there, you also need to have your weather chart. Uh, you, need, you know those basics. You need to have your weather chart. If they don't have it at the center, because the children will uh, need to record the weather. They go outside to ask them, um, what do you see, how, how is it uh, outside? They will tell you it's sunny, if it's sunny, or it's cloudy today. Or if it's raining, they will obviously say it's raining. And then you go to your weather chart now. You say, let's record the weather. We say it outside, uh, it's a good day today because it is, it is sunny. Yes, and then you record your, your weather. And then also, we say besides the weather chart, you need to have a birthday, what? A birthday chart, because they might be birthdays as well. Huh? Yes. yes, they might be birthdays as well. You need to have also your birthday chart in case there's someone who was born that month. Also, you can, to make it nicer, you can do it in the form of a what? Of a song. Um, if it's, uh, this month is October, Yes, this month is October, you say, those born in October, stand up, stand up. Those born in October, stand up, stand up. And dance around and dance around and show your birthday day. And dance around and dance around and show your birthday day. And then they will stand up, those who are born in what? October. They will start what? Dancing, singing and, and dancing. If the parents maybe brought a cake, that's the time when you cut the what? the cake then you sing the song happy birthday to you then um, if you have a small star or a what do you call this or a small flower you can even go out in the garden you pick a small flower you you give the child a small rose or you know then you cut the children can cut the what the cake for her then we say that's the way the chart that's the birthday chart do you, can you think of anything else that you can do? Yes, in the morning. In the morning ring, don't get lost. 
in the morning ring. We have done the weather, we have done the, the birthday chart. Huh? The what? Oh, that's the theme now, yes. Then you can introduce the theme of the what? Of the day. Maybe like we were doing, you remember when we did the, those themes now? The, you, you set your theme what? Your theme table. Uh, for example, let's use the theme that we used, the fa farm what? Animals. Then you say, uh, this week we will be looking at what? At farm animals. Uh, that is our theme. On your table, if you, you, uh, your theme is farm animals, uh, what can you set on your theme table? You remember your theme table? Mm. Yes, you have a discovery table, you have a theme table. On your theme table, what, are you, what items will you put for that theme? Let's say uh, dairy products that are made by the farm animals. Yes. You must also have pictures of the farm animals so that the kids can see maybe if it's a cow, that cows produce milk or have milk and you have milk to show the children. And you also have like chickens or hens. And then you have eggs as well, which are products that the chickens produce. And you also have meat, maybe like the chicken. And you can also have um, the types of food that the farm animals eat, maybe to show that uh, maybe cows eat grass, mm -hmm. and hens and chickens eat like um, meals. The chicken food. <laughs> huh? <laughs> what, is, what is that? Yes, the, yes, oh, worms, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. For instance, I actually just saw a chicken on the table, so well, you could have this kind of... <laughs> Oh, yes, you can even borrow uh, my chicken, uh, this one, my top. Yes, you can uh, uh, put it on, your, on the table, on the, oh, yes, on the theme table there. Yes, and you, you know, with uh, farm animals, there is a lot you can do. And you know the songs like, Old MacDonald had a farm, here, here, oh. And all the farm, there was a dog. And someone can be a real what? Dog. Yes. You can say to the children, you are the dog, you are the? Cat. You are the cat, you are the chicken. So that when, uh, when we say there was a dog, that the one with the dog can jump, you know? Yes, and start barking, or, you know, all those. So the songs, Old MacDonald had a dog, those are the ones which you are going to what? To sing. And you can tell them a story about Noah building a what? Oh. An ark, you know? Yes, you say once upon a time, uh, you know, the people had sinned and God said, now I'm building a what? An ark. And I want animals to come in two by two by two. And then you can have Mrs. Dog and Mr. What? Dog. And Mr. Uh, Cat and Mrs. and Mrs. Cat. Then the children can stand. Mr. Dog is coming. They went into the ark and Mrs. Dog and all. So it, it has to tally with the what? With the theme. All that you do now, if you say farm animals, the story Noah built an ark, the song Old MacDonald has a, has a farm. And then maybe during your literacy now, you, 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 you need also to say um, uh, what animals give us the food, like you were saying. Uh, what food do we get from animals? Then they talk about we get uh, eggs from uh, chicken, uh, you know, we get uh, milk from cows, you know, now you, you have to, to do all that. That's the morning ring. What else am I forgetting in the morning ring? I'm just reminding you because it's you who will be doing it next week. <laughs> I'm just reminding you. Mm. You know, and the lady before giving you the money will be asking that. <laughs> that what, uh, what are you going to do in the ECT center before I give, me, uh, give, give you, you my money? I want to know exactly what you will be doing. So you need to tell her briefly that I'll be doing, uh, you know, activities. I will have my morning ring. After the morning ring, what do you do? Hmm? I just want to ask them, uh, yeah. three to six year olds, do they have breakfast? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, because they will be hungry, huh? Eh? Yes. <laughs> arrival, yes, after arrival, then we can say now breakfast. Yes, under the routine, eh? Yes. yes, they can have their breakfast. Yes, they, they do get hungry. That's why also your, your morning ring shouldn't be too long. 
yeah, if it's too long, they'll start crying. They'll say, I'm hungry. I need to, they say, I need my milk. And so then you can now have your what? Your breakfast. And the breakfast, you do it in, in style. You don't, don't just come serve them. Because they, they touch a lot, now they have to first hold uh, hands. When they are going out now to wash their what? Their hands now. Yes. You say, let's stand up. Let's uh, do um, stimela, you know. Stimela, kuchu, kuchu. Then they stand like that. Now they go chu, 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 to go out and wash their what? Their hands. And then when they come back again, they are stimulas again. And then they come and sit in a what? Yes, they sit in a sick. Remember in ECD also when we develop children, we develop them as a whole socially, uh, intellectually. You know, it goes back again, the holistic development. Yes. So when they come back now, you want to develop them socially. They sit in a circle so that they can chat to us. They are having their what? Their breakfast. Yeah. Then they have their, uh, their breakfast. That's the next step. And then what is the next step under routines? Yes. After eating, they, you don't want them to mess themselves. Huh? Yes. Say, okay, we have eaten now. We are going to the what? To the toilet. Then now our next uh, activity under routine will be toilet. Then it means um, after uh, eating, uh, they go out now, they go in, uh, to, uh, to the toilet and they wash their hands and they come back. Yes. Now when they come back, what will you do? Yes, now we go to the structured activities. And remember, I said structure, structured activities because you need to really what uh, to structure them. Under structured activities, what activities can you do? Huh? Play. Uh, a play will be under play here at the end, yeah. Although, yes, there is indoor play and there is outdoor play. You think soon after maybe we can start with indoor play? Yes, they can uh, do some play around, go maybe to the fantasy area. You remember the areas? Yes, maybe you can say a uh, play around. Let's write here indoor what? Yes, indoor play. Uh, do you still remember our classroom corners? Yes. Yes, the one, one corner is called the? Fantasy. fantasy. Normally that's where they do their indoor what? Play. They can go to the fantasy area there and then uh, you say uh, in the fantasy area they, that's where they uh, take imaginative, uh, they imagine, yeah. Uh, yes, they do what we call uh, role plays. Yes, they can do what we call doctor, doctor, teacher, teacher. Because in the, in the fantasy area, you become what you want. Eh? Yes. yes, they can play house, house. Huh? Yes, some are fathers, some are mothers. And, you know, they can take uh, some clothes there. They put them on. You know, that's indoor what? Indoor play. That's what will happen after that. That's indoor play. And then you can do structured activities. Under structured activities, we have what we call creative what? Activities. Yeah. Don't forget uh, the, the structured activity. We have creative activities. We have music and, and movements. Yes, and we have story. Under structured, we have creative activities. We have what? Uh, music. Yes, that's very important in ECD, music and movement. And movement. We also have what we call story time. Yeah, those are very, very important. Children love stories. Yeah, you know, they love listening, they love stories. So during um, creative activities, what do you think you will do with the children? You will do painting, yes. They love, yes, they love painting, yeah. Yes, cutting and pasting, you can give them magazines and then they cut out what? Pictures and then they what? They stick, yes. We have, uh, you know, they, that's uh, another activity children love there. You see that activity? Yes. yes. 
where they have to put their hands. Sometimes they dip it in what? Paint. In paint and then they, uh, they can uh, put it on a chart. Yes, their hands, that's very important to them or they can draw or they can, normally they love to put hearts like we did there. Yes, yes because you know, they like to be loved, the three to six year olds. And normally uh, small children like to be loved. So when they do those activities, they will also draw some hearts or you give them papers to make small hearts. Once they've put their hand like that, then they put their small what? Their small heart, uh, which shows some love. Uh, th that is under, we say it painting, we can do painting. Yes, cutting and pasting. They love pictures. You give them magazines. You say, um, our theme. Also, you must not, don't, yes, yeah, stick, yeah, stick to the theme as well, guys. Mm. You give them magazines, then you say, uh, remember our theme, we are talking about farm what? Animal. Yes, go through, page through the magazine and see if you can find some what? Yes, some pictures of farm animals. Or maybe they can find cheese. Then they will say, there is some cheese, it comes from a what? Cow. Yes, or from a? From milk, huh? Eh? Yes. yes, or whatever. There is a, you know, all the farm products. They will find some milk there from a cow. They will find some eggs from a chicken, you know. Yes, all those things they will find in the magazines. And then they can stick them on charts, on posters. Yeah, that is uh, under uh, creative activities. What other activities under creative activities can you do? Hmm? Yes, coloring, good. You can give them uh, uh, pictures and then they can what? Color. If, um, if you can have pictures of animals, that would be nice. Huh? Yes, because of your theme now. You look for pictures of cows, of goats, of chickens, you know. Even uh, those pictures you can uh, do what we call matching. You know matching? Yes, uh, they to be, uh, it says animal and then it says food. Uh, you match maybe a cow with the what? With the milk. And then you match a chicken with the, with the eggs. Yes, you can, they can do such activities under creative activities. What under activities? Hmm? What? Playing what? Yes, building blocks. Yes, uh, yes, they can under creative activities. Yes, they like uh, building, uh, you know, with blocks. They can go to the block area. You remember your block area? Yes, they can uh, uh, build as well. But I wanted strictly those which are kind of creative. Do you know um, another activity which is under uh, creative? Dough. Yeah? The dough. Oh yes, the Play-Doh, yes. You can give them the Play-Doh. I used to love the Play-Doh. You give them the Play-Doh and they can make uh, animals with the what? With the Play-Doh. They enjoy, actually the three, to, uh, the three to six year olds will enjoy that. Yeah, you give them the Play-Doh, you say make a cow from this Play-Doh. Yes, they would love that. The other ones, collage, you have, uh, have you heard of such an activity? Yes, collage also can be, a, it's also a creative what? Activity. Um, which other activities, if you think of any? Even drawing. Yeah, you know, you give them a large sheet of what? Of paper. Then you say, draw any farm animal that you like. You know, children love virus animals, different animals. Some are cat lovers, some are dog lovers, and some are cow lovers. Then you say, draw your favorite what? Animal. animal. Yeah. Then they can draw uh, that uh, animal. Um, now that was creative activities. I know there are many, you know, in the preschool. There are many activities that you can do with children. Mm. And you need to go through your, 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 your textbook as well so that you remember before you go. Yeah, otherwise, they will give you children and you don't know what to do with them <laughs> the whole day. Even um, the other, it's a bead making, you know, a, a beads, yeah, threading uh, with beads. You have a string like that. Then you give them some beads to thread and all that. It promotes also fine motor what? Yes, they are fine motor development. Remember, I said when you are teaching, also remember the holistic what? 
development where you have to develop the child cognitively, physically, you know, socially, uh, you know, morally, all of those. Like when you tell stories again, you can even use a Bible story, you are developing them how? Morally as well. So you are bringing again the holistic approach which we use in early childhood development. Mm. Yeah. So all those, all those activities, you need to think about them properly and you have to plan for them as well. Remember I said an ECD um, a teacher is a junk collector. You don't need to buy all those things, you can get them from the environment. Yes, most of the things you collect them from the what? From the environment. Yes, like the beads, you can pick uh, some seeds from trees, you know, the string, and then they put on the strings and all that. Uh, even with the door, you don't need the pot uh, one. You don't need to go and buy. You can even go away, there's a river near the river, there, there is some uh, mud door which you can collect, pick, you know. Uh, when you arrive there, you can give the children. They love that one. They put it in water, they make animals, they, you know. Some can even uh, play in, during um, indoor play. They can use it even to make cups and saucers and pretend they are having what? They're having tea. All that you can, uh, you know, that, uh, that can be very useful. And uh, to move on, let's go to music and what? And movement. We, 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 I've reminded you of the creative activities. Then we have music and what? And movement. Right. That is very, very important. Remember, I say it often, uh, when you are an ECT teacher, you also need often to make your, your toys. When you go there, like, uh, like we once did, remember when we made toys for young children? Yes. Some of you made guitars. Some of you made uh, the shakers. Yes, you don't need to buy those. Uh, you pick up a perfume a container which has been thrown away. Uh, you put a stick inside and some stones. That becomes a what? An instrument, yes, a musical instrument. We use such musical instruments. And with the drums, they love the drums and dancing, huh? Yeah. So you can make, actually, you can make your own what? Your own drums. You make your own drum. You take it to, uh, to the preschool there. Uh, you ask them, which songs uh, do, would you like to sing? Which one do they like? Uh, the one which is similar to animals, which goes with the theme? Oh, yes, Old MacDonald, yes. What, which other one? The Zulu one. <laughs> <laughs> the one where they, they dance. There was one man I, uh, uh, where there was the Infene, and Infene is a monkey. The Mfene which had stolen some apples and it was caught and then they would go, yeah, the Mfene, um, I've forgotten the tune, <laughs> but I know the Mfene song. Uh, they, that one they love so much, uh, that's music and uh, during music and, and movement. And your music you must, if it's an ECT centre, you combine it, your music you combine it with the movement. Uh, they can't just sing like church people, you know, uh, church people who sit here. They, they need to be what? Yeah, to be moving. Yeah. Uh, they need to be moving. Those songs like Ringa Ringa Roses, you know, where they will end up sitting down. Mm. And uh, during uh, uh, music and movement, again, there are some uh, uh, songs that we sing whilst we are also doing some kind of dramatization. Uh, we put in some, uh, some acting as well whereby one of them becomes the, uh, the mother with children, and there is a, a hyena in PC or whatever, which, yeah, yeah? No, no. Yeah, what is that called? They were playing it, uh, some level twos, I saw them playing that game, and then the mother calls them, children come home, they say, we are afraid, huh? Say, so what are you afraid of? And then they say, we are afraid of the hyena, we are afraid of the, uh, a nunu or whatever, or they say it is the nunu. And then, uh, and then they come running, singing, and then the, that nunu chases them and they run to the mother. You know, that's a kind of, uh, also when they're doing that, they sing. Uh, sometimes you can have uh, some music where you just play them a song, and they dance, you can say you dance like fairies, you know. They go like fairies, and then you say, now I'll play the drum, and when I play a drum, you must move like giants. Huh? Then you say, do, 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 now they are moving like what? 
giants. And then you change, suddenly you go, now they, they are fairies, they are fairies. Suddenly you change, now they, they are, you know, they are giants as well. All that you have to combine your music with what? With movement. So, um, do you think we can add some things on music and movement there? What do you think? Remember, it's you who will go there. And remember, we said in our case, uh, with the case that directly said the center opens from what? Seven to? Five. To five. And you are still there. Maybe after music and movement, we can add another routine. Huh? Yes. Yes. What other routine can we add? Hmm? Maybe they're tired now. Yes. So let's say uh, toilet again. Maybe they're going to drink water just to like energize them again. Yes, toilet and snack. Huh? You can give them a small snack. Okay. Yeah, a small snack. Yes, snack time. After music, you know, after move, music and movement, you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, but let's start with a yeah, snack. Yeah. They will go out, wash their hands, and they, you give them a small snack. What type of snack do we give them? Mm. Just to check. Maybe some fruit. Yes, some fruit. Yes, apple. Yeah. Apple. And they can also have like the juice, a small juice. Yes. Box containers. Also water is very important. Yes, water. That's the time they can have snack, water, juice. Um, we said we don't give them... Um, what don't we give children? Sweets. Yes, sweets. We don't because they will have a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. Then you won't be able to control them. So you give them healthy what? Healthy snack. Yes, that is the routine. After uh, we, we we have gone back to the to the routine. After snack, what can we? Uh, the time we maybe we are almost. Um, that's music and movement. That was nine to ten. Toilet and snake is 10 to 10.30. Remember your times as well. I forgot here times. Uh, you need to also, okay, when we are doing this, you also stick to times. Uh, seven to, we say that's the morning ring. And then you must have 08, 30 to maybe 08, uh, 45. You are doing those activities then. Uh, 08, 45. Two zero nine. Uh, you remember the activities that we're doing. You put them under here, and then now we are ten. We are in ten to ten thirty. That's toilet and and snack, so that they rest. Right, and then now when they are coming back. You can, uh, because they've been indoors, huh? then you can say outdoor what? Free play. Yes. Then maybe let's say 10.30. 10.30 to 11.45. It shouldn't be too long. We can say outdoor. Hmm? Outdoor free play. Because I'm a kind lecturer, I will photocopy this for you and give it to you to take with you so that you keep on referring. Huh? Yes, this uh, I will give you. Uh, it's outdoor free play now from 10.30 to what? To 11.45. And remember, uh, outdoor free play also should be well organized outside. Yes, we re remember we have what we call sand what? Sand pit. We have what? Yes, we have those jungle gyms where they play. Swings, we have. You can even prepare your water corner outside. Yes, so that you cater for your theme again. Huh? Yes, on farm animals there. Yes, then you have your water place where they can also play and pretend to be animals there as well. Even in the sand, um, in the sand pit. Yes, you need also to, uh, they need also to play like animals or they can be cats chasing each other there in the sand and all that, you know. 
but they are free to play now. They run around. Uh, even uh, football comes in, you can give them a ball. Uh, they can play football. Those who want, they can play netball. They can do rugby. That's outside what? Outside free play. Mm. And remember uh, to develop them how? Socially as well. It's holist that holistic development which we're talking about, that uh, give them a chance to you are develop, developing them physically when they are playing there, on the swings, running around, and also you are developing them how? Social. Yes, they are, you, uh, they are making friends. Also remember children with disabilities, those who are always sitting, uh, who don't want to what? To mix. Try to also include them, include children with disabilities, by uh, bringing them there in to say, okay, help these children around, a hold a hands, you know, that's the time children make friends there during a outdoor what? Outdoor a free play. Right. Now they are coming back from the outdoor a, a free play. That will be 11.45. Maybe we say they, they will play up to 11, 11.45 to, to 12. Yeah. Then they can have their what? Lunch. Yes, because that will be 12 now. They have their lunch and then what? Toilet. That will be their lunch now and, and toilet. Remember also during lunch, put them in groups as well. If you have small tables, normally they will have those small tables. Mm -hmm. Yes, make them sit, mix boys and girls. A mix those uh, who are disabled and those who are normal. You know, the inclusive education as well yes. has comes in. If they are different races, also make sure that you also, uh, you know, try and mix them. Yes, because remember, we are, we are also uh, supporting that inclusive what? Education, where we have to include the children with disabilities. We have to include uh, different races. We look at uh, different languages. If they are Zulus and Kosas and whatever, they try to divide themselves, the Kosa children sit alone, they try and what? And mix them as well. Yes, so that will be lunch. And then after lunch is what? It's toilet. It's toilet and then, um, uh, let's go on. Our time now is 12. And then we go to 12, maybe up to 12, uh, 20. Let me start here. Uh, 12.20, you think it will be enough to 12.35. We go back now to our structured what? Activities. Because we have done uh, uh, the creative activities, we have done music and movement. Now we go to what? Yes, to story time. They have eaten now, they are relaxed, you know. You need to tell them a what? A story. Uh, I'll write your story, right? During your story time also, you must do it in style. They go to the quiet what? Area. Yes, they sit on a what? Yes, yes on the carpet or a nice mat. Uh, in a circle, you say, uh, let's all fold our arms and, and listen. You can ask one child if she has a story to tell them a story, or you can tell them a what? Story. A story. Or you can use a radio. You know where those uh, bunnies and them, they come in. Yes, you can use a radio story if you want. Or you can use what we call puppets. You remember the puppets? Yes, you can wear uh, some uh, stuff on your hands and yes, socks, yes. We once made puppets when we were in level two, huh? Yes, yes we did. We made some puppets, then you tell the story with the what? With the puppets. Or if you can, you can have a video of Bunny. You know Bunny. Children love that dinosaur. Yes, they love that dinosaur Bunny. You put a Bunny there to tell them a story. You know Bunny will be dancing and they stand up also and dance. As well, they, they do like Bunny. Also, those are the things that you can what? You can do with them during story time. And remember, uh, during story time, to give them also a chance to retell after you tell them a story. Because also uh, the theme, our theme is what? Yes, don't forget your theme. Yes, you can t tell them an animal what? Story. 
I think there is a story which they like about Uno Kwacha, if it's Sulu children, I know. That one, that story, I've heard it, I don't know how many times now. Now I'm 47, I think I've heard it. <laughs> of Uno Kwacha, who was the very clever, and he said, hey, come, I will put you in a pot. If I say in chui, chui you take me out, you know. <laughs> yeah, you remember that one. <laughs> yeah. And then Patuno Kwacha had a plan to eat the baboon, you remember? Mm. So when it was the baboon's time, he said, okay, baboon. Uh, he said, okay, f put me first in the what? No. In the pot. And yes, and uh, if you. Yes. And then the baboon said, chui chui, and then the baboon said, the Patuno Kwacha was ours, and then he put the baboon. Yeah. yeah, he said no. I will let you uh, uh, boil until you, you <laughs> until you are you are nice meat, and then he ate the baboon up. Yeah, all those the children love such. They love animal what animal stories. Yeah. So you, if it's your 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 theme is farm animals, then you need to to have those stories about animals. Well, well, those ones are not even farm animals, but any animal story. Even the farm animals, if you say there was a dog and a cat and they live together, and you can make them real, you know, like real people. You say Mrs. Cat and Mrs. What and Mr. Cat live together. They had their uh, children they, uh, called uh, this. You know, make it like a real life. You know, they want those things. Make it real. Right. Um, that is story time. Uh, and then now we are in uh, that's 12:35, and then 12:35, and uh, 12:35 uh, to maybe 13. That is one to 13:30. We, uh, we can say sleep, rest. Yeah. Yes, you are telling them a story. They are tired. You say sleep and and rest. Then they will go to their beds and they will uh, sleep. And then they wake up at 13.30, maybe to 13.30 to 13 what? Uh, 45. 13.30 to 13, 13.45, that will be wake up and, and toilet. Yes. Wake up, wake up and toilet, and then, yeah, that's 13.45, right, then from 13.45 to 17, because remember we said they have to leave at 5 when their parents come to fetch them. It's 13.45 to 17 hours or five. It's, it will be outside play, snacks and departure. Yes. So they, we say outside play, they play again outside. Outside play, uh, my board is finished, snack. Whilst they are playing, you can have you know, a table with uh, some snack where they come and pick whatever they need, or there's water, uh, juices, fruit, and then, yes, departure, that's when their parents now come at five, because most of them come at five to pick them up, that's departure, see, yes, then that's, that's your day, that's your whole ECD, what, day, it's quite long, hey? <laughs> And you will be what? Tired. Mm, you'll be very, very tired. Mm, think you will enjoy that? Yeah. <laughs> they are not sure now. You think you will enjoy that? What do you think? Let's reflect. Yeah. Now I've showed, you, I've showed you your whole day in, a pre, in an ECD uh, center. Remember, next week you are going for five days. Yes, and they gave you 500 rand, which is 100 rand a what? A day, a per day. So it's five days from Monday to what? To Friday. And remember when on you do this, this is a, it's one day, it's Monday. Then again when you come on Tuesday, 
you need also to vary your activities. If even your stories, if you told them a story about the, the baboon and the head, it means uh, um, today, maybe it's Tuesday, you need to change your what? Your story again. And on Wednesday, so you need to have all your stories. Uh, yeah? Yes, you, yeah, you can't teach without a lesson plan. You see mine, times and what? Activities, yes. You, you, you plan every morning before you go there. Uh, you say from like I did, uh, 7.30 to 8, what will I do? Yes, children will arrive and what will I do? Uh, take their bags, you know, put them there. And then you say 8.30 to what? 8.45, what will I do? You need to, to, to plan every day. You can't go there without what you're planning. And you need also to prepare your resources for creative activities. If on Monday you did painting, then maybe Tuesday you are going to do cut and what? And paste. Yes, bef yes. before you come, you need to have your newspapers, your scissors, your whatever set for them on the table. Then on Wednesday, maybe you are doing, uh, what do they like, that Play-Doh, you know that Play-Doh which they like. Yes, you have to put some dough on their tables when they come for the creative activities, then they can start making the, using that play-doh. Or uh, Thursday again now, uh, you have done that, maybe you can say it's free drawing, where they draw the animal which they like. They can take even the picture to their dad or to their mom, you know. Yes, or you can display it on the wall, they see their work. After drawing, they color it, you say, let's display our pictures of animals. They display them on the wall. That's the whole day. If in your music and movement you need to change. If on Monday you were uh, dancing like giants, maybe on Tuesday you are fairies, you know? Yeah. Maybe on Wednesday. Also it depends on the time. If like uh, last month we, we had heritage, it was heritage month. Yes, you can say now they dress like uh, according to their uh, tradition. You also have to move with times. Yes, tradition comes in and all that. You, you, you need to change your activities, otherwise they get bored. Yes. I used to be three to, uh, uh, three to six year old. But remember also, if you are given babies, you have no, what? You have no choice. Yes, with the routines now, you have to, in the morning, you have to change nappies. Huh? Shabalal. <laughs> yeah, daddies have to change what? Nappies. Yeah, when they come in the morning, you, there's time for nappy change. Yeah. <laughs> Toilets, yeah, they are not like the three, two, six-year-olds where you take them to the toilet. But with the babies, if you are in the baby class and love, hmm? <laughs> you want? <it. laughs> no, you can't ch uh, choose. You know, when you come, they say, "Mr. Love, you said you want to do a work-based experience." Yeah, there is a baby class. We want you to change all those what? Babies. Yeah, babies. The nappies. You have to change the nappies. Uh, you have to feed them. If it's babies, you also need to hold them and what? Uh, yeah, and feed them. Yeah. Remember, we said you can't feed a baby whilst it's staying. It needs some love. You pick it up. You. Yeah, you feed it. If, if a baby is crying, you play with it. When you are playing, you also need to sit with them as well. If it's babies, you need to hold them, you play with them, you put them on the floor, they play whilst you are also the playing on the... And no high heels for girls. <laughs> yeah, when you are going to the preschool, you don't wear high heels, flat shoes, comfortable clothes, comfortable shoes, so that you are able to what? Yeah, to run around, you know. Outdoor play, you must be always there because of injuries, you remember? Yes, yes. Uh, because of injuries when they are playing outside, you need to supervise them at all times. You need to be there. You can't answer your phone, you can't be on WhatsApp. Yeah, you can't be on WhatsApp. Otherwise, when you are on WhatsApp, you remember, I told you a story one time of injuries in ECT. Yes, when I was an ECT uh, uh, teacher, a, a child where a child ate a, much, a mushroom, you remember? Yes. yes, children, you know when they see she, the child just saw a mushroom and said, oh, there's a nice mushroom, we ate mushroom for dinner last night, and then took that mushroom thinking it's the same mushroom, but it was a poisonous, what? Yes. Mushroom. As soon as the child ate that mushroom, the tongue came out. That was a serious injury. 
we had to call the poison center they had to come to try, try and drain the poison out of the child even up to date the child is uh, he, he is no longer a child he's a, 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 a man now he cannot talk properly because of that so if you don't supervise they can be serious what Injury. injuries and remember with the tea hot liquids we don't leave them on what on tablets if there is a table cloth, they will pull the table cloth and that, uh, that water will come straight to them. So uh, with the, when you go there, also remember, take into practice all those things that we're talking about. Injuries in the ECT center, playing with children, holistic development, you know? Yes, all those things you are now putting it into what? Into practice. Yes, are there any questions? Mm. You can ask me anything. Uh, when you go next week, remember you can come and pick up your, your lesson plan. But it's just an example. It doesn't mean it's an example for the day. It means the following day you also need to add your own, your own input. And remember your themes are not, it's not always femme animals. It will be other things as well. Yes, you have to think, you take that, uh, uh, your textbook, you look for themes uh, in ECT. My home, it can be my home, my school, my, yeah, my family. They love families, maybe, yes, my family is very nice. You know, you look for it, and then you teach according to your what? Yeah, to your theme. Mm. Any questions?